So hello and welcome to this video on the 2HP Euclid, a Euclidean rhythm generating module in 2HP. Let's check out a bit of what's to come in the video before we go through the features and get stuck in. Now as the manual states, Euclid is a rhythmic pattern generator based on ideas originally presented by Euclid, the Greek mathematician. The Euclidean algorithm can be adapted to create rhythms by taking the total number of active steps in a sequence and then distributing them across the entirety of the pattern. This creates cyclical rhythms that are immediately musical and can be used from everything from EDM to IDM. Bring your patches full circle with Euclid. Now, we have a trigger input. This can be a clock or any other rhythm source. We have a reset, CV for length and steps. Control for length, steps, offset, and our output. Now length sets the amount of steps up to 16 in any given Euclidean pattern. Steps sets how many active steps there are. So you might have a pattern length of 16, but five active steps. Or you might have a length of five steps, but two active steps. Offset will take the given pattern and shift that across the grid. So if we had, say, four on-beat steps in a pattern, we could make those off-beat and shift them around the steps, kind of on the grid. It's a very musical way to shift patterns around. If you'd like to learn about Euclidean rhythms, there's a great online tool that I will link in the description for playing around with various Euclidean patterns. It's very visual, very playable, and a great resource for learning about this kind of thing. But let's get stuck in to what this does with some beats and then some synth patterns. So to demonstrate these Euclidean patterns, I've patched up three simple drum sounds. Now let me mute them and I'll go through what's going on. A kick drum that just sets our quarter note pulse. A quieter, but they're just to kind of set the pace, 16th note. And this is the exact same rhythm, this green trace on data that I'm plugging in and clocking the Euclid with. And then the snare sound is the output of Euclid. And that's the blue trace on data. The yellow trace is some modulation that we'll come to currently unused in a minute. So we set the length of the pattern up to 16 steps on length. How many steps are active within those 16 steps? And then we can offset the rhythm. So let's listen to that offset first, because we've got a rhythm going already. So listen to the relationship with that snare pattern to say the kick. So it's shifting that pattern around, it's kind of taking a preset pattern within that grid and just shifting the kind of start point for the pattern. Less steps. Again, we can offset that or add more steps. Offsetting it back to where it was. And steps automatically scales dependent on length. So we can't have a length of, say, four, but seven active steps, which keeps things nice and musical and always in time to that clock or trigger that you put in there. And you can clock this irregularly or use rhythms from elsewhere to actually trigger this. So with 16 steps active, let's use this sample and hold or looping step sequence into steps. And by introducing CV, we're not only getting a Euclidean pattern, but one whose active amount of steps is changing, giving us new non-Euclidean rhythms as well. Let's try CV over length. It's really simple for building up rhythms. So here I have the trigger output from Euclid triggering my envelope, opening up my filter and VCA on my synth line. And just to be clear which sound that is, let me mute everything else.
Now, this pattern itself is triggered by 16th notes relative to this bass drum, which is this hi-hat rhythm. So that same clock triggering the hats is this green trace on data that's going into Euclid. Now, if I turn the length up, turn the steps up, and now bring my synth sound back in, we can hear it's playing on every step. Now let's create a little Euclidean rhythm with less potential steps, turning the length down, and less active steps. So that's like a dotted eighth note rhythm, giving us a trigger every three pulses. Now using the offset, I can push this rhythm onto the beat, it's currently off beat. it's playing on the kicks. Let's take that off. So although my pitch sequence is constant, the envelope that's opening up my VCA with the oscillator controlled by the pitch sequence is this Euclidean rhythm. And it's a great way to carve out how busy a pattern is. You can think of it as a kind of busyness from very little activity with steps to the left. Let's add some effects. And a clap. To the full pattern. And by decoupling the pitch sequence and the gate sequence, lot of fun and interesting musical patterns to be had. So that's it for this video on the 2HP Euclid, Euclidean Sequencer. Check out the link in the description, as I said at the start, for a handy online tool for learning about Euclidean rhythms. Check out other 2HP Tuesdays videos linked below as well. Cheers for watching. Go support me on Patreon if you'd like to support this content and other exclusives that people get over there. Like, comment, subscribe, the usual patter from me. I think that's everything. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.